Inside 360 came out with their brand new X3 camera today, and it comes with an upgraded sensor, bigger screen, a larger battery, extra buttons to switch modes or records, and a bunch of new features like 72 megapixel 360 photos, 8K time lapses, me mode, and more. Wow, it's a super exciting camera, guys, which we are going to use today to create three simple but amazing effects, and all of that within five minutes. So let's start the clock. Oh yeah, Inside 360, thank you for sponsoring. This is the new and improved wipe transition. What you want to do is simply sit on a chair and you kind of want to act like suddenly the whole world is rotating so kind of making like this movement like whoa everything is going fast then you also run out of the shot and take an empty shot of course next you want to go to a second location do the exact same thing but here you are going to wipe into the new world so you kind of like make this movement now before you begin install the gopro fx reframe plugin this will allow you to control the 360 footage in after effects you drag both of our talent clips in the composition add a reframe plugin to both clips from the projection property you can choose the the aspect ratio. Let's go for 4K 16x9. With the pan, tilt, rotate and zoom settings, we can adjust the view angle of the 360 footage. Make sure your talent is on the same spot for both clips. Sync both clips and use a hard cut to transition between the clips. Then add a cut at the moment the talent starts acting like something is going on. For this clip we then cut out the talent using the roto brush tool. Next up it's time to use both of our empty shots over the length of the roto brush talent. We place these under the rotoscope layer. Copy the reframe effect from the two previous clips and paste them to the matching clips. Now let's go to the beginning of the empty shot of the first location and set a keyframe for pan. Go to the end and increase this value. Do the same for the other empty shot and play around with the animation curve so that it speeds up and stops abruptly. Animate the opacity in the middle to reveal the clip over time. Last step is to turn on motion blur. This right here is a brand new stick from Insta360. It's very long and super sturdy. That means that you can kind of like fake drone shots with it. And on camera, you don't even see it. It's nice to see him run. Makes him tired for the evening. Mm -hmm. A kapot. Now what I really love about Insta360 is that they have so many different accessories to create really cool video effects like the bullet time courts. Now there is even a bullet time mode on the camera itself and what is new with the X3 is that you can shoot at 4K resolution 120 frames and now let's do this! This is the world transition effect. You want to put the X3 on an invisible selfie stick and make sure that you are filming in an open field. Then take two steps away from the camera and just jump up in the air as high as you can. After that, simply run out of the frame, height somewhere because you also want to take an empty shot. And now we're taking the empty shot. And I don't know why we're whispering. With the X3 you can choose to either film at 5.7K resolution or at 4K resolution, which gives you 60 frames a second. can see a wild jo Yeah? Yeah, sorry, it was my mom. She was just saying to me that you guys should like this video and subscribe if you like this content. Very, very sneaky. In After Effects, drag the first location in the composition above the empty shot. Apply the reframe effect to the talent clip and animate the tilt and zoom where the talent is about to lift off. When you tilt down and zoom out, you get this little planet effect. So after keyframing, it should look like this. Then animate the rotation of the little planet, copy the reframe effect and paste it onto the empty layer. Now drag the second location and it's empty underneath, but place them a bit further in time. And now do exactly the same as we did for location 1. Only here we'll start with the rotation and zoom back into the world when a talent is about to land. Next up we'll animate the talent so that they fly off and land back onto the planet. Look for the moment where your talent jumps up. Make a cut and rotoscope them out. Once done, animate it off screen. And since we already took care of the empty layer, we don't need to add anything back. Do exactly the same for the landing part. The last step is to animate the opacity of the top empty layer so that the other world gets revealed. Next up, I'm gonna need two cars right here. I'm gonna stick the X3 on a very long pole. And the idea is to pull the entire camera through the four windows of the two cars. Now you can either shoot this in single lens mode, basically getting much better video quality and using the X3 as an action cam, or of course in a normal 360 mode. But we're going to do that actually in HDR video because we're going from the inside of the car to the outside. So we have much contrast.
The next effect is the hyper burst speed. Basically, you want to attach the X3 to your bike or to a bicycle, or you can even run with the camera as well. But the idea is to have the camera in the middle of your bike or yourself. And also, make sure the camera sits in front of the steering wheel. Now, don't worry too much about wiggle because the X3 comes with flow state stabilization, so it's going to stabilize the footage for you, and it does a really good job at that. This effect works especially well at night because of all the street lights. Once you have your clip in a composition with the reframe effect applied, you look for the point where the warp needs to start. Do some time remapping so that the talent speeds up even more. Next, animate the zoom and lens curve. I decrease the zoom while increasing the lens curve, giving us this warping effect. To enhance this, pre the layer and add CC Force Motion Blur, which you animate the shutter angle off to something like 1000. This will add more motion blur to your shot, really showcasing the speed at which your subject moves. And you can also add some extra effects. All right, we've gone past the five minutes, so sorry for that, guys. I'm not even wearing a watch. Anyways, if you want to learn more about the Insta360 X3, definitely check out the link in the description down below. And if you want to see more cool camera tricks that you can do with a 360 camera, check out the video here on my left. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you, Insta360, for your support. And as always, stay creative.